Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. I was having connection problems. Sorry. Hi. Welcome back. What's today's date? Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Which month? July. July what? 21st. 21st. Excellent. 21st. What year? 2021. Excellent. Very good. Do you remember the activities we covered yesterday? We were speaking about second conditional. Second conditional. Excellent. What is what is the structure that we use uh, when we use the second conditional? If more if plus plus simple, plus simple. Plus 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 okay, so you use um, let me disconnect this. Um, we use if plus the simple past form, and then you use would or could. How do you say? Um, si yo no tuviera tiempo. Yeah. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, so what's the reason nobody answers? Uh -huh. How do you that say, si yo no tuviera tiempo? If so I didn't have, didn't have time. If I didn't have time, how do you say, <laughs> si yo tuviera tiempo? If I had time. If I had time. So it doesn't matter if the information is positive or negative, it is mandatory that you use the simple past structure. Questions or comments? No? I guess not. Repeat, please. So when you are using the second conditional, remember that the second conditional, it's not real. The second conditional is hypothetical. So okay. for you to sound hypothetical, it is necessary that you use the structure of the simple past. So I said, si yo no me rasurara, how do you say that one in English? If I didn't shave. If I didn't shave, if I didn't shave, me vería más viejo. How do you say that one? I lose all the I would look older. Okay. I would look older. Okay. Uh -huh. How do you say, si yo me rasurara? If I... Uh -huh. Wait. If I shaved. Uh... If, if I shaved. Okay. If shaved. I shaved, okay. mi esposa estaría contenta. Mm -hmm. Why was that? My <laughs> wife... Would be, would, happy. Would, 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 would be happy. Remember that yeah. would is hypothetical. So if I shave, si yo me rasurara, the message is I don't shave. Okay. Yeah. Any questions or comments? You're quiet today. Why are you quiet? <laughs> Alguien lo regañó? No. ¿Quién lo regañó? No, nobody. Your, hus your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, girlfriend? Teacher. <laughs> oh, the teacher. <laughs> All right, good. Okay, uh, so let's begin. Any questions about the second conditional? All right. Ya han oído el dicho que dice, su silencio es ensordecedor. Your silence is deafening. Okay, so here we go. Um, do you remember the differences between countable 
and non countable. Yes. Okay. Can you can you give me examples of countables? Can you give me examples of countables? Cell phones. Cell phones, very good. What else? Computer. Computers. Computers. Uh huh. What else? Desks. Desks. Books. 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 Television. Televisions. Controls. Uh, how do you say cargadores Finger. in English? Fingers. Uh huh. Chargers. 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 Very good. Chargers. So those are countable. Now give me examples of non countables. Water. 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 Ice. Ice. Sugar. Sugar. Pollution. Sugar, pollution, Nothing. noise, Nothing. corruption, traffic, traffic. okay, Guitar. very good, very good. So let me show you this. Give me a second. Right here. Okay, can you see my page? Yes. What, yes. what is the topic? Adverbs of quantity. Adverbs of quantity. Okay. So listen to this. I need your attention. The left side are examples with countable nouns. Countable nouns. Cars, subway lines, buses. There are too many cars. There should be fewer cars. We need more subway lines. There aren't enough buses. Any questions there? Teacher? Yes? In the theory center, there are too many cars uh -huh. because, because we use only there are many cars. Good question. When you say there are many cars, you're saying hay muchos carros. When you say there are too many cars, you're saying hay demasiados carros. So, for example, you open the door of your house and you say, oh, there are many cars. That's okay. That's not a problem. But if you go open your door, you say, oh, there are too many cars here. There is a problem. Two is a superlative? Two is a um, maximizer. Okay. Yeah, so you maximize the, the, so I can say, this water is cold, I drink it. But if I go like this, uh, it's too cold, then when you use the word two, you're indicating that there is a problem. Okay. 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 All right. Any other questions? Anybody? What is the meaning of fewer? Least. Uh, menos. 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 Countable or non countable? Countable. 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 Excellent. Very good. Now we go to the to the other group, the one we have on the right. Now there is too much traffic. Can you count traffic? No. no, you cannot. Lo puede medir, pero no lo puede contar. There is too much traffic. There should be less pollution. Less pollution. What's the meaning of pollution? Contamination. 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 Right. Contamination. Right. We need more public transportation. And then you say there isn't enough parking. Observation. All the time. All the time that you're using non-countables, they are always taking the singular form. So you always need to say, there isn't. There isn't. Uh-huh. No, no it's sufficient. Okay. Uh-huh. So parking is non-countable. What about love? Can you count love? No. 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 What is the opposite of love? Hey, 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 hey. 
So how do you say hay mucho odio? There are much hate. There are much hate. Ah, uh -uh. many hate. Uh -uh. There, is, there, is there is too there is, much hate. There is, there, is. There, is. there is a lot. Or there is a lot of hate. Lot of right. Hate. Okay. How do you say no hay amor entre ellos? <laughs> there is love between them. There isn't love between them. Between, between, between them. them. Okay. So if you compare the information with countables and non countables, too many cars, muchos carros. Too much traffic, mucho tráfico. Menos carros, menos contaminación. So the idea is the same, but different vocabulary. Questions or comments? How do you say, hay mucha corrupción? There is a lot of corruption. There is a lot of corruption. Corruption is non-countable. So you need to say it the singular form. All right. Questions? No? Yeah. Okay. So um, this information is in the platform. Yeah. Let me show you something else. All right. Screen share. Teacher. Yes. Is correct say there are there is so too much um so much. Yes, um, it. Right. Is correct say um. There is so much uh, pollution. Pollution? Pollution? Yeah, there is so much pollution. For example, if they ask you, uh, Edith, give me a description of San Salvador. You could say there is so much pollution. Yes. Okay. Thank today, you. today I was riding my motorcycle and uh, you know, one disadvantage of using a motorcycle is that you expose yourself to the pollution, smog. Yep. Yes, your sentence is good. Edith. Thanks. Anybody else? Any other questions? Uh, teacher, which yes, is Robert. the difference of, of uh, less in free work? Okay. The two have the same function. They mean menos. Fewer, um, if you're talking about countables. Less, if you're talking about non-countables. Okay. Yep. Any, any other questions or comments? No? No. Okay, so let me share this. Mm -hmm. This right here. Okay, do you see the yellow papers? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Volunteer to read the first yellow paper. Is there? Me? Uh huh, go ahead. Is there a lot of traffic in your city? Okay, volunteer for the second paper. Are there, are there no expenses? In your okay, city? are there no. enough? Enough. 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 Yeah. Enough. enough. In your city? Okay. Police Third officers. paper? Paper three? Are, are there, there many buses, buses in your city? In okay, your city. and the last one? Is there too, Is there too much pollution in your city? city? Okay, yeah. excellent. So let me copy. And do I have um, my WhatsApp open? No. And where is it? It's right here. Okay. Okay, do you attend meetings 
when uh, when we have political campaign, do you attend meetings when you have a candidate visiting you? ¿Qué le estoy preguntando ahí? Ah, yeah. ¿Ah? Si, le, si visitamos este, las concentraciones políticas. Exactly, cuando, exactly. Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you? I, I don't. No. Ok. No, I don't. La, la gente llega y muchas veces lo hace para quejarse. Dice, hay mucha delincuencia, hay mucho esto, mucho aquello. Ok, give me a second. Uh -huh. Loading, loading. Yo creo que quizás ya sea vecina la tormenta que está cayendo en Santa Ana. Hola. De seguro. Mm. Yeah. Aquí sí está lloviendo bastante. Where, where are you? Where? In Santa Ana. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah así, así nos dijo un compañero. It says, it's raining cats and dogs. Yeah. yeah. Cats and dogs. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's the expression we use when you say that cuando está lloviendo mucho. Yeah. yeah. In El Salvador, we use another expression. Rose. Yeah. Rose. Rose. Uh -huh. Yeah. You know that expression, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let me see this. I'm going to break our rooms. So con la persona que le toca, responde las cuatro preguntas que están ahí en esos papelitos amarillos. Same instruction, if I'm speaking with Juan Carlos Lopez and I'm not answering, Juan Carlos Lopez is supposed to raise his hand and say, Francisco, put me in a different classroom. Here we go. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Mauricio. How are you? I left the class. I don't know why. Okay, I'm going to send you to room three. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sure. Good evening. Good evening.
Yes. Yes. Hello, people. Do you have any questions? Hello, teacher. How are you, Edith? She's Fine, great. Teacher. She told me that. We are practicing the... Good. Very good. All right. So, so you have Carlos. questions? No. Okay. Very good. All right. Some of you have any questions? Yeah. And are there many buses in your city? Yeah, a lot of buses. I I, I don't I don't use the buses, <laughs> uh, but I think yes, uh, in the city for oh outside door yearly. Uh, the noise of the cars uh, is terrific. Okay. It, um, it sounds uh, like cut off. Escucho un poco cortado. Ah, okay. Excuse me. In English, you say choppy. Okay. Choppy. You sound choppy. 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 C H O P P Y. Choppy. And now? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. It's very sad. Yes. Hello, ladies. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Uh, how are you? How was your day? Tired. Tired? <laughs> yes, yeah, so busy. Yeah. How many hours do you usually work? Um, eight hours. Eight hours. Eight hours? Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. Any questions about the exercise? Mm, no, I don't have questions. Okay. Very good. Let me visit another room and then we go back to the main session. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and... The question for me, um, Claudia or Brian? Question for you? Yes. Oh. I I made the first or, question. Um, all right. Uh, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Yes, uh, there is too much traffic um, um, around the in the morning. Rush hour. Rush hour. Hora pico, rush hour. Oh, only in the morning. Okay. Do you have any questions or comments about the topic? Um, no. 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 All right. So let's go back to the main session. Okay. All right. Any questions or comments about the exercise um, you guys were doing? No? No, teacher. All right, no good. Question. Okay, so we will do a small review about there is and there are. Because um, there is a, a, a portion of there is there are that we're using in this topic. How do you say no hay agua? There is there a water. Is in water. There is in water. How do you say hay un gran problema? There is a big problem. There is a big problem. Excellent. Okay. How do you say hay dos muchachos afuera? There, there are, are two guys, guys, two guys. Uh, Okay, there are two guys right? outside. There are two guys yes. outside. Or two there boys are two outside. Guys out yes. There are right? two boys, teacher? Yeah. No. Two boys, two guys, guys, two people, two men, two girls. Yeah. 
Okay, how do you say no hay tomates? <laughs> There are tomatoes. There is not tomatoes. There aren't tomatoes. There are tomatoes. 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 You know, tomatoes. like the, the, the American version, they say tomatoes. British, they say tomatoes. Okay. Oh, so, tomatoes. Yeah, so you can say tomatoes, you can say tomatoes, but I think tomatoes sounds more natural. Anyways, yeah. uh, so how do you say no hay tomates? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There are tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay. Yeah. Somebody said teacher. Tomatoes. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, how do you say cantones or caserío? Uh, you know, in the states, I don't know if England, Australia is the same. You have two parts. You have the city, and you have the countryside. Let me let me spell it for you. Yes, countryside. Okay. Yeah. Um, you have the city and you also have the countryside. Now, the countryside no quiere decir el lado del país. When you say the countryside, you're making reference to the rural area of a country. Oh. Got it? Okay. okay thank so, you. in the countryside, then you include village, uh, or, or the countryside in general. Remember that Spanish is more complete than English. It's more complete. So uh, like for example, vecindario, reparto, residencial, barrio, whatever. What is the word in English? Uh -huh. what, what is the Downtown? word? Downtown? Neighborhood. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Neighborhood. No. No, neighborhood, yeah. Neighborhood applies to vecindario, barrio, residencial, reparto. Uh, canton. Eh, if it's a canton, yeah. So neighborhood is, 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 is very general. Okay, anybody yeah. else? Any questions? Now, be careful. How do you say, va a haber un concierto? There will be a concert. There will be a concert. There will be a concert. Let me write it for you. There will be a concert. There will be a concert. Okay. How do you say no habrán tickets? No hmm. habrán tickets. There won't. There won't be, be tickets. There won't be tickets. Okay. Now, do you remember the present perfect? The structure. Present perfect. Yeah, present perfect. Have you seen the present perfect? Yes. Okay. How do you say hubo un accidente? There were. Oh, there was an accident. There was an accident. An accident. There was, there an, was accident. an accident. Yep. Yeah. So there was or there were. It depends if it's singular or plural. Questions or comments? Oh, yeah. yeah. Questions, questions? How many tenses do we have in English? Twelve. 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 So once you're familiarized with the 12 tenses, um, you will have a better command of there is, there are, there was, there were, there will be, there has been, there will have been, and all that. So let me show you something. Uh -huh. Share. Where is this? Not this one. Give me a second. Where is that document? Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to open it again.
Okay, there is, there are. Okay, can you see exercise number? No, it's not this one. So the first one is very simple. Can you see it? Uh, yeah, I can. No. Yes, teacher, no. I can see. Okay, let me try. Can you see it now? No, yes. 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 Okay. yes so there is, there are. What is letter A? There are 25 students in the class. What about letter B? There is. 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 Okay, letter F. Okay, letter G. There are. There are. Uh huh. There are his friends. His friends. Okay, H. There is your mobile phone. Okay, there is your mobile phone. What about I? There are computers. Okay, listen carefully. Computer is singular hmm. and a TV is singular. So yeah. remember this. This indicates that it's a singular structure. So okay. one more time. There is. I as in there, there, there is. There is a computer. There is a computer. And a TV in my room. My room. Okay. J as in Juliet. J as in Juliet. Are, there are. There are. There are seven books. Seven there are books seven books in my bag. Okay. And letter K. Uh huh. K as in kilo. There is no there homework. Is exactly. Is there, is no there is no homework. No there is no homework today. Excellent. Excellent. There is no homework today. All right. Questions. So, aquí. Okay. Give me a second. Al único que tal vez se le vale es a Isidro, que no es del Salvador. Pero a quien le toque hablar con Isidro, Isidro les va a describir qué hay y qué no hay en República Dominicana. La persona que hable con Isidro va a describir a El Salvador. How do you say hay 14 departamentos en El Salvador? It's not departments. There are 14 states. There are 14. Excellent. There are 14 states. 14 states en El Salvador. How do you say hay mucha contaminación? There is a lot of pollution or there is much there pollution. Is it is uncountable. Pollution. Exactly. Pollution is uncountable. Oh. So oh. recuerde, cuando está hablando de algo que no es contable, it's always singular. It's mm -hmm. always singular. Okay? Vamos a ver. So, how many seasons are there in the United States? Four. Four. What are the names of the four seasons? Spring, uh, winter, fall, summer, summer. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now remember, in El Salvador, we don't have seasons. We don't have seasons. What's the reason we don't have seasons in El Salvador? What kind of weather do we have? Tropical. 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 Tropical weather. So what is the main characteristic about tropical weather all year long? Rainy and... Rainy and hot. 
Okay, but, but, but what is the main characteristic about um, tropical weather? Is it cold? It is, it is warmy. Ahead. Okay, so listen to this. In a tropical weather and country... It changes very often. Yes, but it's never cold. It's never cold. So in El Salvador, we have two colder. periods. Two periods, not seasons. It's period, not season. Exactly. So we have the rainy period, mm -hmm. like right now, and we have the dry period, but we don't have seasons. Mm -hmm. We don't have seasons. Siempre nos decían, ah, invierno y verano. No es invierno. Es cierto que tenemos lluvia, pero no se pone helado. No, y no nadie frío, se ha muerto aquí en El Salvador de frío. De frío. Uh -huh. Y no han estado donde verdad ya summer, que pasa la temperatura de 100. It's very hot. Very hot. But yeah. in San Miguel, it's near. Ya, yeah. la unión <laughs> is hot. La unión, la unión is hot. Ya. El sol que maduro, dicen. Ok. So, once again, you're going to work in pairs and you're going to give a description about your country. Got it? Lo que hay y que no lo hay. Let me see this here. Recreate. Recreate. Uh-huh. And here we go. There is, there are to describe El Salvador and Dominican Republic.
Christmas. Yes, I live in Mexicanos. Uh, there is a lot of pollution. Yes, there is a lot of pollution. Mexican, uh, for what place? Uh, I live in Final 75 Avenida Norte. Yes, ah, it is the other place. Uh, no, I but the... it's the border of Mexicanos. Yes. It's the border of Mexicanos. Yeah, Calle Al Volcán. Yes. Around Santa Monica, cerca de Santa Monica. Yes, teacher, we are, yeah, in this moment, we are catching that we are co workers all in the group. Really? <laughs> what, what company? Really? Uh, the Ministry of Finance, but oh, we IRS. are different, yes. Yes, IRS is because it's Internal Revenue Service. It is the, the tax administration of the United States, but in the technical English, we only refer about Ministry of Finance. When, oh. we, when we go to, to have a meeting with another tax administration, we can, you can say, you can say tax administration or minister of finance. Oh, good, good, nice. But you guys work in different departments, don't you? Yeah, yes, okay. yes. Do, do you know each other in person? Yes, we know each other. In person? Yes, in person. Good, good, nice. Nice, uh, and, and we, we was talking, we was talking about the, the, the country, the, about the pollution, about uh -huh. the police officers. Okay. Um, what is it? A beautiful place in El Salvador. Sure, sure. <laughs> El Salvador has so many beautiful places, so many. Yeah, so many. You can go to the ledge, you can go to the beach, you can go to the mountain, to different places. In one day. In one day. Yeah. Exactly. In, one day. in exactly. hours. In hours. Yep. Yep. All you have to do is um, plan your route, like get up early, leave early, and you can cover different places in one day. Yes. Yep. Yeah. What right. is your favorite tourist place, teacher? Um, you know, I have several. I love the beach, but I also like. Uh, Mountains. Mountains, yes. Yep. yep. Yes, the mountains are interesting. And, and you where, can... where do you live? I live in Lourdes, Nuevo Lourdes. Lourdes. My sister lives Yes, my sister lives there. Really? Do you know the yeah, number yeah. of the sender? She lives at the end of the of the neighborhood. Okay. Near the mountain range? Yes, there is a big, uh, a big gate close to her, close to the, uh, close to her house. To, to her house. Yeah. Okay, good, good. Yeah. What about you, Edith? Where do you live? In Cuscatancingo. Oh, Cusca. All right, good. And you, Carmen Maria, where do you live? Even Montevideo Poniente. Oh, Montevideo, Montenegro. I lived in Montevideo like 20 years ago. Wow. It's a nice neighborhood. Nice neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I used to live like two blocks from the park. Two blocks from the park. Yes. Do you know where Montes Urales is? The street. Uh -huh. Right I there. Live, I live. Uh, Por la Casa Rosada. Oh, on the other side. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. Good. Yes. Good. Okay. Let me visit another classroom and then we go back to the main session. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Good. Hi. Did you finish mm -hmm. speaking? Yes, teacher, in the group WhatsApp of people say that I am alone. Okay, let me see it. David and oh. Peggy. Okay, let me check. <laughs> teacher, I'm alone. 
Me too. <laughs> David and Aide. Okay, let me look. <laughs> oh, Aide. Aide is in group three. Isidro is alone. <laughs> I'm going to move into room six. And yeah, only, only um, Isidro was alone. All right. Thank you. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, any questions or comments about the um, description for given El Salvador? No? Listen to my question. How many rooms are there in your house? There are three rooms. In my house, there are two rooms. In my house. Okay, house. how many floors are there in your house? Mm -hmm. Two. There are there two floors. Two. Oh, my wow. There is a floor. Okay, one there, there are two floors. There is one floor. Okay. Yes. There isn't. Okay, there isn't, there isn't what? Okay, w what if I said how many people are there in your house? Mm -hmm. <laughs> there are three people. There are three, three people. people, okay. Are there uh, any pets yeah. in your house? Yes, there is yeah. a pet. There okay. Any pet. Yeah. Okay, so I say, no, there aren't any pets. Or you say, yeah, there is a cat and there is a dog. Or there are there two dogs. A, there is a dog. Okay, are there children in your house? There is one. Yes. There is one. Yes, okay. There, yes. All right. there is one. There is one. Okay. There are three children. Okay. There are three children. Okay. How how many? Who has five children here? Who has five children? Nobody. No, me no. Four <laughs> children. No. Four children. No. Three children. Yes. Carmen. I have three. Yes, three children. Okay. Two children. Two? Yes, two children. Yes, two children. One child. One child. One okay. child. All right. One so child. nobody has five. No. Okay. Good. And you, teacher? I have five. They, they five. are studying too much. What is it? Yeah. They are I, studying too much. You are studying too much. They are studying too much. There is no time for that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now listen to the question. Is there water 24 hours a day in your house? Mm, yes, there is yes. water for 24 hours okay. in my house. Okay, is there public transportation to your house? Yes, there is public transportation is public to my transportation. house. Okay, is there crime near your house? Yes, there is a lot of yes. crime. <laughs> yeah. I think that El Salvador doesn't have one safe place. You know, yeah, you're exposed anywhere. No. no. You're exposed Where? anywhere. Yeah. Even yeah. in nice, rich neighborhoods, you're exposed to for anything to but, happen. Yes. Right? There, are some, there are some places in Chalatenango uh -huh. that are very... Safe. That are very safe, yes. Yep. yep. Also in Morazan. Yeah. Yeah, near the border uh, yeah. in Morazan, you know, they, they have some, they got uh, beautiful places, like surrounded yeah. by nature. Yes. True. True story. Okay. So let me show you. This is the last exercise that we have for today. right here we will do whatever you can do can you see it yes, yes. yes i can see yes okay there is there are right there 
see this. Copy. And paste. So I'm sending it to the to the WhatsApp chat just in case you want to save it. If not, you use the one from here. So let me make the couples. Maybe we don't have uh, much time. Recreate, recreate rooms. Here we go. Okay. Only. Okay, I'm sending you to room nine. Okay. Um, With Isidro and Xiomara. Oh, Glenda, okay. Glenda, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'm going to send you to room six. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's nine o'clock already. We will continue with this same exercise tomorrow. Do you have any questions or comments? Okay, uh, no. Tomorrow I have a question, the number five, uh, six. Sorry. Okay, all right, good. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye-bye.